the Travel Squad podcast. We're four friends that grew up together in the same small town. We followed each other to San Diego, and now we adventure the world together. One passport stamp at a time. We're here to share our travel stories and inspire you to go on your own adventures. Even if it starts with your own backyard. I'm Jamal. Brittany. Kim. And I'm Dana. And And we're we're the the Travel Travel Squad Squad podcast. podcast. So grab your tickets, your passport, and don't forget your travel insurance. And prepare for takeoff. Hello, fellow travelers. Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to Taco Tuesday, episode 52 of the Travel Squad podcast. Taco Tuesday is a weekly holiday in San Diego, you could say. We take it very, very seriously here. And every San Diegan you speak to can passionately tell every single place they love for the best Taco Tuesday, right? Absolutely. Uh, For show. So today we're going to tell you about the best 13 taco places in San Diego. And tacos are definitely one of my favorite foods to eat because they just make me so happy. They're so delicious. And every time I take a bite of a taco, I just do a happy food dance. Don't let Taco Tuesday fool you, though. Every day is a great day for a taco in San Diego. Taco Monday, Taco Wednesday, Taco Thursday. Mm -hmm. I like a taco morning, noon, and night, Zaina. Let me tell you that. (laughs) But with all seriousness, we are going to go over our top 13 favorite places to get tacos in San Diego. Now, keep in mind that these are in no particular order. But I do want to say, and I've said this before on other podcast recordings, I do find the food since we are all from northern california i've said this before the mexican food to be better up there but i will say this san diego's and southern california's taco game is on point maybe better than norcal's but mexican food as a whole i think better in norcal but we are talking about tacos today and yes the tacos here in san diego are better than anywhere else so with that let's get right into it Okay, I know we said in no particular order, but I'm glad we're talking about Tacos El Gordo first because it is my absolute favorite place for tacos in San Diego. And there's actually a location down by where Jamal and I live. There's multiple locations throughout Southern San Diego and They have so many different meat options. They have lengua, they have pastor, they have a choice called Azteca, which is half carne asada and half cactus, which sounds interesting, but it's actually super delicious. They have so many different choices for meat, and I love the way they cook them. Jamal, how do they cook their meats? Well, the thing about tacos El Gordo that makes them so delicious, and I would dare say authentic, is they are actually Mexican street style tacos. Originally, Tacos El Gordo opened in Baja, California, Tijuana, Mexico. It's worked its way up north. So these are truly authentic street style Mexican tacos. And the way that they cook their most popular taco, which is the pastor, which is your pork, it's roasted on a spigot and then shaved off into your taco. So again, the most authentic tacos Mm -hmm. I feel here in San Diego are tacos El Gordo and definitely some of my favorite. And just real quick, I do want to say if you are not in San Diego and happen to go to Las Vegas, they do have a Las Vegas Tacos El Gordo, so do check it out if you're in Vegas. Yes, Tacos El Gordo is also known as Teg. No, I'm just kidding, but I, I call it Teg. teg. <laughs> I have heard Jamal, Brittany, and Kim talk about that because even as we're recording, we had a conversation about whether or not we should go get some Teg tonight. This is like a taqueria kind of vibe of a place, but the number two place on our list is one place that I love to go for Taco Tuesday. I've probably never gone outside of Taco Tuesday, but this is South Beach and OV, Ocean Beach that is. It is so good. They have several different kinds of tacos. My favorite is the fried zucchini taco. They put it in like a flour tortilla with cabbage and delicious chipotle sauce. It's so good. But a lot of people like it for their seafood, fried fish, different things like lobster that I don't eat so I know nothing about but I hear it's bomb and this place is really cool it's in OB right on the ocean it's two stories so it's a really big place super casual surfer OB beach vibe 
Is it near the pier? It is. It's right by the pier. Check it out if you're looking for a, a hot Taco Tuesday place. And actually, they do Taco Thursday, too. Taco Thursday? Look yes, at this. Yes, they do. What is that? Now, Kim, I know you said you hadn't had the lobster, but let me ask you a serious question. Have you had the fish taco there? Absolutely not. I don't eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I had but to ask. People I've gone with have gotten the seafood or fish tacos, and they say they're really good. Very nice. So number three on our list is going to be Lolita's. And Lolita's also has multiple locations here in San Diego. And I love these ones. So Lolita's is not just a taco place. You can do some carne asada fries. You could do burritos, other stuff. But I love their tacos. I've never gotten anything else from there except their tacos, truly, because they are that good. And I love them because they are nostalgic to me. And I will tell you why. They are crunchy shelled tacos. And I think I could speak for all of us when I say this. They remind me, at least, and I'm sure all of us, of our fair tacos, our Yolo County Fair from our hometown of Woodland, California. The Catholic School Holy Rosary, they would always sell their tacos at the fair. They're the deep fried ones that have the sprinkled Parmesan cheese on top. And Lolita's does the exact same thing, and it's absolutely delicious. I've never had a taco at Lolita's, but I have had their um, chimichangas. And when I opened it up, it was insane. It was insane. It was so big. It was so good. Lolita's has some really good food. And squad tip, when you get those crunchy tacos, get the crunchy taco plate. You get two tacos, rice and beans. And don't forget to add sour cream into your tacos to make it even more amazing. Yes. And to just throw one more thing out there, I remember one year we had a white elephant gift exchange at work and someone brought in a $20 gift card for Lolita's and it got nasty. I mean, whoever got that got <laughs> real lucky because I'm telling you, Lolita's is one of the best taco places in San Diego. That's for sure. And they, again, they do have multiple locations. And I know some people are more partial to a crunchy taco than a soft one. And if you are a crunchy person, Lolita's is the place to go for that. Mm, I can't stop thinking about those crunchy fair tacos from the Woodland County Fair. The Lolita ones are exactly like mm. that, Kim. Mm. Okay, be right back. Going to Lolita's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I go to Lolita's, number four on our list, the taco stand. They have several locations around San Diego. One of them is downtown right next to my office. So, of course, I frequented that one the most. The way they do their tacos reminds me of Tacos El Gordo. Like TJ, Taqueria style. They have the autobata on the spigot that they shave off that they serve with pineapple and this delicious chipotle salsa dressing. It's so good. Taco stand might be one on my list to try out next. Oh my God, you have to try it out. There's usually a pretty long line at the lunch hour downtown, but besides that, there's not a long line at all. They're probably around the same price, like two and four bucks a taco, so pretty cheap. They hand make the corn tortillas right in front of you in the tortilla press and everything so you get to watch it happen. It's so good. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh my good. God, so good. But they have carne asada and chicken and they have like a cactus kind of a flavor too. Bomb, you have to try it. Definitely going there. I can't wait to go to Taco Stand. Jamal, let's put that on our list. Taco Stand, here I come. So the next taco place we're going to talk about is called The Brigantine. And it is one of my favorite taco places specifically for their fish tacos. So long story short, Jamal and I once came to San Diego before we lived in San Diego in 2009 to try the best fish tacos ever. We went to a place that we saw on TV. It was such a letdown. My sister was like, let me take you to the best taco place. What place was it? I forgot what it was called. That's a really good question, Kim. But we did see it on Food Network. Bobby Flay went there. I think it was on his show, like Throwdown, if I'm remembering yeah, the name the correctly, show. where he would go to restaurants and recreate his own version of each restaurant's famous item. And he was someplace here in San Diego that did fish tacos that were supposedly like amazing. So Brittany and I are like, oh, we need to go to that. We went to it, told Brittany's sister who lived down here at the time that we were disappointed with it. So she was like, no, 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 no. Like you want good fish tacos? You need to go to the Brigantine. And let me tell you something, the Brigantine fish tacos are on point. We got ourselves a soft tortilla taco, beer battered fish with amazing ranch, cabbage, tomato, super, super good. 
I mean, when I go to the Brigantine, that's the only thing that I do get is the fish tacos. And I do want to say the Brigantine is also an amazing seafood restaurant. If fish tacos aren't your thing, you can go and get other types of food. But do keep in mind their fish tacos are why they're on the list here. So do check it out. And they pair so well with a hand-shaken margarita. Oh my mm, God. Shake, shake, so shake. So good. <laughs> And if you happen to be going on your birthday and you print out the certificate, they do give you a free mud pie on your birthday to top it all off. The mud pie is ridiculous. Like, I can't even describe it. It is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're at a loss for words, Zaina. Oh my God, it's so good. There are multiple Brigantine locations. They have several so you can pretty much find one in any region of San Diego, quite honestly. Our favorite one to go to is the Point Loma one, only for the atmosphere. It's right along the harbor. You can see lots of boats by the water. So it, I feel like it has a little bit more of an ambiance. But again, anywhere you are in San Diego, you can find a regional one and do check out their fish tacos. And again, if that's not your thing and you want a full-blown meal, Brigantine's a good place for that too. And another squad tip, regardless Regardless of where you go, do ask for that extra ranch to go with your fish taco. Mm. Makes it clutch. Slop on all the ranch. You know, we got to love the white sauce. <laughs> we got to love the white sauce. I know you ladies like the white sauce a little bit more oh, than me, yeah. but. <laughs> the sauce never did me wrong. I put it on everything. <laughs> all right. Number six, another Taco Tuesday favorite. Cerveza Jacks in Pacific Beach, or as the locals call it, PB. I have gone to Taco Tuesday here countless times. I moved to San Diego six years ago, so in, in 2014. And this place used to be Typhoon Saloon and Fred's. And the tacos there were still bomb. And Typhoon Saloon was like this place that had a stripper pole in the back. Gets wild, like hauls in busfuls of San Diego State students on Tuesdays to turn the fuck up. <laughs> Crank that shit up. About a year or two after I moved here, they changed it to Cerveza Jacks in the front and then Moonshine Beach in the back. So more of a country theme bar. So on Taco Tuesday, you can come in, get an amazing autobata taco with the pineapple. So good. All the other meats are really good. Have your great tacos. And then they do line dancing in the back in Moonshine Beach, which is fun after you've had a few beers or margaritas with your tacos. If you're in the country, get buck wild out there y'all <laughs> have a good time <laughs> what you know that just really <laughs> reminds me of woodland like some tacos and then some country dancing i was gonna say one what an odd mix you got yourself your <laughs> authentic mexican food and then let's just throw in some line dancing and country huh yeehaw yeehaw cerveza jacks <laughs> coming in hot and pb Aww. All right, so number seven on our list, we would be remiss if we did not include this one. Interestingly enough, I'm sure lots of people have heard of it, Rubio's. And yes, I am referring to the chain Rubio's that is across the United States. Now, the reason why I do mention it is because the original Rubio's location is in San Diego, California, in Pacific Beach, home of Cerveza Jacks, or should I say, home of Rubio's, because that's the original spot. So Kim, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Rubio's tacos? Because mm -mm -mm. PB used to be your old stomping ground, and I know you've been to the original Rubio's. So what actually drove me to Rubio's was that on your birthday, you get a free meal. So you'd sign up for the birthday thing and then go in there, and the tacos, they have this gourmet chicken taco that's so fucking good. Like, it is so good, guys. So it's on a little corn tortilla, chicken, bacon, and grilled cheese in the tortilla. Ooh. It is so good with all the sauces. Oh my God. But they also, squad tip for all you keto friends out there, they have a keto version of their taco where you can literally have the shell be a cheese taco shell, no tortilla. It's amazing. That sounds really good. I want to go <laughs> just to try that out. Do it. Yes. That sounds right up your alley, Kim. Always talking about the yeah. little keto or low carb fads. But you're talking about the chicken taco. Let's talk about their original fish taco that they do oh, have. You're going to have to talk about that one. Well, <laughs> that's why I'm bringing it up because I know you haven't tried it. But this is their original, their famed claim. I really love it. It's like classic Baja style. And Baja style, I mean, just in a tortilla, beer battered, cabbage, your sauce, tomatoes. Simple enough, 
but so, so flavorful and so, so delicious. And my favorite thing about it is when I get it, it's just wrapped in that foil and then I open it and I know what delicious goodness is hiding in that foil for me. The Rubio's <laughs> original tacos are amazing. Number eight on our list is American Junkie. This is a bar restaurant downtown San Diego in the Gaslamp. I know for a fact they have one in Hermosa Beach that is equally as wild. They may have more locations. I'm not sure, but I know for sure there's two. This place gets a spot on our taco list, not because they have phenomenal tacos, but because this place fucking kills Taco Tuesday. Why do they kill Taco Tuesday with not top notch tacos? Here's why. Five dollars gets your wristband for all you can eat tacos the entire night. All you can eat tacos? Yes. Oh and they're actually good. They are good. They're just not like gourmet amazing. But here's the thing that, that sets them apart from every other buffet, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> You get your plate, they give you three corn tortilla setups, and then you can choose your meat. They have carne asada, they have chicken, they have carnitas, and they have potatoes with red peppers. So good. And then they have an entire toppings bar with Whoa. rice, beans, five different cheeses, five different sauces, guacamole, cilantro, ranch dressing. It's like endless. How do they even make money off of this? <laughs> <laughs> five dollars. Five dollars. Six dollar margaritas oh as well. Oh my God. They probably make money off the booze. Oh, for <laughs> sure. And then after about 9, 10, it turns into a total nightclub in there. It's so much fun. But if you're just going for the tacos too and the drinks, like that's perfectly fine. This place is great. I mean, we love a breakfast buffet at a hotel. I mean, <laughs> taco buffet. Taco buffet. <laughs> Count me in. Taco buffet all day. <laughs> and for $5, holla. Really can't beat that at all. Yeah, it's amazing. You can literally eat 20 tacos if you want. There's no limit. There's no time limit. There's no taco limit. So, Kim, question for you. How many tacos have you been able to put down in one day? <laughs> I think I ate six once, and they don't skimp on the meat. It's like a big ass taco and with all the toppings you get overzealous with what you're putting on there so it i think i try i think maybe i got to six or five i don't know i was gonna say i was a little <laughs> disappointed with that six number but when you're talking about how they really build it up and make it a bulky taco and we know you love that girth kim so i can barely put my hands yeah, around it i was shocked at that si <laughs> i was shocked at that six but that doesn't surprise me now that you say that considering how big they are so number nine on our taco list is Lucha Libre, and Lucha Libre has three different locations in San Diego. Mission Hills location is the original location, and Lucha Libre is actually a term for Mexican freestyle pro wrestling. So this shop is actually Mexican wrestling themed, and it was featured on Man vs. Food, and they actually have a champion's booth inside the Mission Hills location where you need reservations to sit at the champion's table and champion's booth. I was about to say, what does that mean? You know, it means <laughs> nothing other than you need a reservation and that whole <laughs> booth is like glittered in gold. Like a, you're a champion. You're the rock star you wrestler like of the, the world. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. Because it is a small little shop and the seats are just like whatever. It's not like it's uncomfortable, but this champion's booth is the only place that you could sit in there that looks like pure luxury. And they have it all roped off like it's VIP, like you're in the club <laughs> and everything like that. So it does have a little quirky theme that does make it fun. And again, its famed claim is that it was on man versus food for their surf and turf burrito, which is absolutely amazing. But we're talking about tacos on this Taco Tuesday and Travel Tuesday. And let me tell you something. They got themselves a surf and turf taco. Bomb. Got to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Zena, you were asking about the champion's booth and the champion's table. And I've never eaten at it, but maybe we should as a squad sometime when we can eat indoors again. Go check it out because guests receive full table service while you're at that booth. Your own salsa bar. <laughs> and you can call on the staff whenever you need something. Oh, that is cool. so, like, so crazy. So I full love service. it. What a great theme for the champion booth. I mean, as even when Jamal said and they rope it off, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can picture it. That's like, no amazing. joke. It's roped off like it's VIP at yeah. the club, man. I yes. want one of the masks, though, the Lucha Libre mask. They got them framed <laughs> up. You can ask them. Maybe they'll give you one to wear. I've never, I've never asked, but you know what? We can go in rocking it, and I don't think they'd say a thing. I mean, <laughs> you're at the champion booth. <laughs> yeah. So do definitely check out. 
Lucha Libre. It is a San Diego staple. And again, their tacos are very good. Multiple varieties. Their surf and turf taco, in my opinion, I think is the best. But you're going to have a good variety of different type of Mexican cuisine there for you to try. And next on our list is Rigoberto's. This one, I love this place. It has a special place in my heart. It's a chain throughout San Diego. And I used to walk here at like two in the morning after the clubs closed and eat some tacos because it was one of the only places open near where I live. Is that it 20, I walk. 24 hours? 24 seven. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. And I just want to preface when I say that those were when I was younger. <laughs> Your early days. I was going to say your party days. You can have a about? taco at any hour of the night, at any Absolutely. age. Well, you Absolutely. can, but she's talking about coming from the club. But that's what I was going to say. That's Talk how serious home. San Diego is about their taco game. Lots of places open 24-7. Oh, yeah. Rigoberto's one of them. I mean, Dana, is this the place that has the fried green onions? They do. Oh. They do. They have free fried green onions free? and the carrots. Because most places, yeah, pro tip, go to Rigoberto's because most places in San Diego, they do this spicy carrot. I don't even know how to describe it, but it is delicious. And like the pickled like a carrot? Like pickled carrot. Yeah, there we go. And everyone charges for it, but Rigoberto's does not. And they do have the free fried green onions as well. And so they used to have one while well, it's still there, but it was where I used to live and it's around the corner from me. So when it's late, when you've been drinking and when you don't feel safe to take an Uber or Lyft, why not walk there, right? <laughs> <laughs> These but kinds anyways. of 24 seven places also make really good hangover drive through stops. Yes. Yes. The next yes. day. Don't be the one with the hangover driving, though. Yes. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> but speaking of which, you did say the fried green onions. I just want to clarify. They're not like deep fried. They're really like char grilled mm -hmm. green onions, correct? Exactly. We're not talking onions. We're talking the long green onions, uh -huh. charred, grilled, and just it's it's an amazing flavor. I know exactly what you're talking about and i don't want to jump from number 10 at rigoberto's back to number one at tacos el gordo but this has reminded me of something that i forgot to mention about tacos el gordo they have the exact same thing they have the grilled green onions some grilled like jalapenos and peppers but what i love about tacos el gordo and again sorry to do the jump but it just inspired me talking about the onions <laughs> right here is it's literally onion roulette at tacos el gordo you never know if you're going to get green onions <laughs> or actually regular onions that they kind of roast up themselves. I had tacos El Gordo recently. It was regular onions. The time before that, it was green. So it's always onion roulette over there. But at Rigoberto's, <laughs> rest assured, it's always the green onions. Exactly. That's hella funny because I was like, what is he talking about, onion roulette? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah real onions versus green onions. <laughs> no, Rigoberto's always has the green onions. And they do have the jalapenos too. Because And you know what? Here's the thing. If you buy the sides, they're going to be super cheap at other places. But Rigoberto's does give it for free. And ooh, I love the jalapenos. Just biting into one of their charred jalapenos. Mm and then with the mm. carrots and the onions and your tacos and your whatever else you got like and they have like so many different salsas to choose from it just completes the whole taco experience exactly it's not just your <laughs> red salsa and it's not just your green salsa they have like an avocado salsa and just, i like a little variety with oh my, my tacos God, that sounds amazing they have an orange salsa Ooh, an orange salsa. <laughs> you know I, we could just take you through the we could have a whole episode on salsa <laughs> <laughs> That Next episode. Such a good episode. <laughs> Follow up. <laughs> and then we're going to have a little special on Jamal's mango salsa on that one. <laughs> we could have a whole podcast on your food. <laughs> we should one of these days. One of these days. I might make this as honorary number 14 Jamal's tacos on here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't. We can't add that until you make it for us. No, I know. Uh -huh. I'm just joking around. So moving on, number 11 on our list is Umberto's. And Kim, why don't you tell us a little bit about Umberto's? Because I know it's one of your favorites. Well, I've never heard anybody pronounce it that way. Maybe that's the traditional way to say it in Spanish. But everyone says Humberto's, even the Mexican people I know. So uh, see, it may or may not be uh, my, pronounced that way. My Spanish is terrible, so I thought I was saying it correctly. Oh, I thought you did such a good job. I was like, wow, he's really going for it. Maybe All that's right. the proper way, but nobody calls it that. Everyone says Humberto's. It's in the Golden Hill neighborhood of San Diego, which is just outside of downtown. It's open 24-7 
as well. So it's got that taqueria kind of vibe to it, but it's really, really good. They're also really well known for their salsas. People will get jugs of their salsa. Oh, wow. That's intense. <laughs> yeah. Like they're that good, but it is just red and green. So, but anyway, I've had the crispy chicken taco from there and it was just on another level of delicious. And then just the vibe of it being a place to go when everything else is closed and it's usually very lively in there. It's got a great vibe for a taqueria. I've had Umberto's a couple times after some late nights out, not with Brittany, <laughs> with James, our friend who unfortunately oh, has moved back to Northern California. So I no longer have a 24 hour taco buddy in that sense. Anymore, <laughs> hey, I'll be but, your buddy. All right. Count me <laughs> in on that one. So, but that's what, just what I'm saying. Look at this two that are 24 hours and there's more. I mean, they're really on point with their taco game here. Tacos all day, every day, man. Taco life is real life. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It really Someone's is. Someone's got to live it. So the next one is Kiko's Place Seafood. I love this place. Like if anything on the list, I would say that this is my favorite place for a fish taco. It's not an actual location. It is a taco truck. So they used to be on Texas Street in North Park, but now they are on Mission Center Road in Mission Valley. And they are just so dynamite. The OG fish taco is the one that everyone lines up for. It's Baja style. It has cabbage, pico de gallo, cream, and it's two twenty five dollars a taco. And it is so, so, so worth it. And it's always there's always a wait outside of the truck i remember when you lived by kiko zana you were, and i came to visit you you were like you got to try this it's so good you got me on to kiko's and i actually work pretty close to the original location that you were talking about and again it's a food truck so it definitely does move can move from its current location and i went up there and it was gone and i was so disappointed i have since found it in mission valley and very occasionally do go and get really? myself some fish tacos for lunch while I'm at work. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. So, so good. And why I really like it is, again, this goes back to what I was saying a little bit earlier. Again, reminder, all of us from Northern California, up there we have more taco and Mexican food trucks than we do here in San Diego, although the food truck scene is definitely taking off nationwide. I feel like we had the originals up north <laughs> in our hometown. So eating at Kiko does remind me of getting that real like authentic street taco style food and I love it. Yeah well it's funny because now I actually live right next to it in its new location. <laughs> there you go. And two twenty five dollars for a taco? What a steal. It's Damn. so good. Have you had it? No, I don't think I have. Oh my God, it's so good. Now that you say that, Jamal, I'm just like, shit, I live right next to it. I'll walk there and we'll go to lunch together. You gotta go. We'll do it. Kim, you gotta try it. I know you seafood's right up your alley. Oh, yes. Let's go right now, guys. <laughs> the only thing is, because Kiko's place was literally like right around the corner from me versus Rigobertos was actually three blocks to walk. But Kiko's place is not 24 hours because it, it it's a taco truck. Moving right along, the next one, number 13 on the list. Is and our final taco shop on the list. Yes. For now. Las Cuatro Milpas. Very elegant accent on that Spanish thing. I loved it. Gracias. This one's located south of downtown, not quite as south as Barrio Logan, but in that general south of downtown vicinity. It's very, very popular and very well known among San Diegans. You'll find it on all the top taco lists. It's definitely a must try. I love it, you guys. On the show notes, it's highlighted in yellow. Potential squad outing. <laughs> We're already planning a squad outing here because it's that popular. And like we all have to go together. COVID has just fucked up everything this year, <laughs> including our taco squad outing. I will not let COVID get in the way of our tacos. Well, these are all still open to eat. But again, the in-person dining experience with the taco is something unique just as well, quite honestly. I mean, so, shit, the champion table at Lucha Libre. Yeah, the absolutely. Taco, I mean, the salsa bar. Salsa bar. That's absolutely correct. I mean, <laughs> that's half the excitement of the taco there is used the to salsa be and this, the sauce on Not it. to get off of this one, but I used to love this place that closed down called El Paisa. They had free beans at the salsa bar. <laughs> beans? Yeah, but you can only get it if you ate in. Ooh, look yeah. at that. But anyway, this place is amazing. If you look on Yelp, the pictures of their crispy tacos 
also have Parmesan cheese all over the tortilla shells. Mm. Oh, so good. So these are crispy tacos like the Holy Rosary ones that we talked about at the fair and like the Lolita's tacos, crispy tacos. Yeah, they have other things on the menu, of course, but this is what the draw of the taco is. Their claim to fame. Yes. Ooh, I love me some crispy tacos. You know, I love authentic tacos, soft shell tortillas, but at the same time, a crispy taco just is clutch. I'll take it crispy. I'll take it soft. I'll take it big. I'll take it small. I don't stuff. discriminate on my tacos, <laughs> size or style. Did any of you ladies have any other final thoughts about it? I know we went over top 13, but anything you ladies want to chime in, throw in, say? Yeah, I'm really craving not only a taco, but a beer on draft to wash it down. Mm, mm. That's a good pairing. you got to have me a cerveza with my tacos. And right now we, we have 13 on our list. Maybe we'll do another episode down the road for another 13. But literally, I want to say 100%, but I'm sure it's not that high. But the vast majority of restaurants in San Diego will have tacos on their menu, even if they're not a taco shop. And honestly, it's almost impossible to find a shitty taco in this city. <laughs> it is, but when you do find a shitty taco, they're really shitty. <laughs> That's why we're giving you the top 13. If you're in San Diego, be sure to check these ones out. They for sure will not disappoint. All so right. I think it's time. Ooh, it's time for questions of the week. All right. As you guys know, we have been doing ourselves a beautiful little acapella entrance into the questions of the week. Questions. 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 But we're not going to do that this nope, week. Not mm-hmm. today. We are going to change it up. Zaina has made a little rap. We were thinking <laughs> we were all going to chime in and each do kind of like a verse. But no, I think Zaina, since she created this one, it's so great. She needs to say it. Maybe Kim will say the last line, though. <laughs> You guys, I mean, I was laughing. Just, I could barely get it out. I was so excited about this. All right, you guys. Three, two, one. Coming in hot with questions of the week. Ask us now or forever hold your peace. Send in an email, a DM, or the gram. Questions of the week coming at you like bam. You know what? I loved our acapella, but how can you not love that rap? Sandy, you just pulled that freestyle out. I love it. All right. Let's get into questions of the week. What do we got? All right. The first question is, what other Mexican food do you love in San Diego? Really, really good question. Obviously, you know, tacos are close to our heart because we just did an episode about tacos. And we could do more. And we can do more. But specifically, if this is San Diego, there's two things. I'll mention one. I'm sure somebody else from the squad will mention the other. I can't not say a California burrito. California burritos, if you don't know, are carne asada burritos with french fries stuffed and rolled in them. And they supposedly were created here in San Diego. Every taqueria place you see will have them. Mm -hmm. It's always a delight to have yourself a California burrito. Love them. They are good. So in San Diego, I also love the carne asada fries, specifically from Taco Fiesta. Jamal Zane and I used to live directly across from a Taco Fiesta, and these are just so good. They're crispy fries topped with salsa, sour cream, guacamole, cheese, meat, so delicious, and put the extra salsas on top. I have never had better carne asada fries than from the ones from Taco Fiesta. Honestly, I've tried a lot of places in San Diego for their carne asada fries, and I agree with you, Brittany, nothing has been better than Taco Fiesta for the carne fries. I love it, love it, love it. Just think nachos, but instead of tortilla chips, french fries, amazing. And the size that they give you can feed two people easily. I love just burritos from different locations. Well, I do have a specific location that I do love. It's the taco shop in Claremont. And I always get the um, Cali surfing. So check it out. It's carne asada, shrimp, fries, salsa fresca, guacamole, cheese, and creamy chipotle sauce it's quite a powerful boom in your mouth but it's interesting because they have so many different burritos they have a california burrito a malibu burrito a san francisco burrito a shrimp or diablo burrito a los angeles burrito a red chili burrito like it's so crazy they even have a big mama again this is california taco shop in the claremont area and they're so big they're so big got that girth (laughs) Girth and length. (laughs) The double combo. It really is. All right. We have one last question. This one comes from a San Diego local named Ron. And he said, NorCal versus SoCal. Who has the best Mexican food? 
Ooh, because we're all from NorCal. Well, I wish I would have known this was a question of the week, and I wouldn't have said it earlier, but we already heard my opinion. In terms of Mexican food as a whole, I'm going to have to go with NorCal. I love it, love it, love it. Every time I go home, visit my parents, I always go get Mexican food. And I will say this, in NorCal, their taquerias have way, way better burritos, in my opinion. But tacos as a whole, if we're not talking about Food truck tacos, San Diego for sure, but Mexican food as a whole, I have to give it up to NorCal. Go with my roots. I would have to agree. Uh, you know what? I don't think I ate enough Mexican food when I was in Northern California to really know. Ooh, you're a late bloomer on the Mexican food, Zara. I am. You know what? <laughs> uh, Dad always cooked and I always ate Dad's cooking. Or then once I got older, I would just eat really healthy. So I didn't go out that often. I can't tell you how many times I would just go out and get mm. Mexican food. At some point, even still living at home, I, not that dad's food isn't great. I love it. But uh, I just really went out and got my own food and <laughs> always ate Mexican. <laughs> I definitely grew up on Mexican food in NorCal and I still eat it habitually here in SoCal. And I've been here for six years now and I have to say I have converted and I do think SoCal Whoa, has better Mexican food. I really I love do. SoCal Mexican food. I really do. Even now, like as we're recording you guys it's a little bit late and i need to get dinner and i'm thinking to myself should i get a burrito now and risk the heartburn or should i just like not? <laughs> this the episode... heartburn is always worth the rewards <laughs> I, I, mean, like, I know i was about to say i mean like i have tums right in, in my nightstand next to my bed but still like oh it's brutal pre-game it with the tums <laughs> There you go. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Hope this episode made you hungry. Thanks for listening to us. Hope you get to try some of these amazing restaurants when you're here in San Diego. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere you can find us on social media at Travel Squad Podcast. Tag us in your own adventures. We'd love to see what you're up to or if you try any of these taco shops. And please send us in your questions of the week so Zana can do her wrap again. Yeah. Yes. Let us know what you guys think. And if you found the information in this episode to be useful or if you thought we were just plain funny please make sure to share it with a friend that would enjoy it too please subscribe rate and review our podcast and don't forget to tune in every travel tuesday for new episodes and do be sure to go rate us on youtube just as well and subscribe to us there stay tuned for next week's episode pack your bags grab your passport and your bathing suits because next week we're taking you to palawan island in the philippines Beautiful Pia. Thanks. Bye, guys. everybody. Bye, Bye guys. Adios.